One of our top stories today in Fort Lauderdale, four people under arrest after a police officer was shot at in the street. Now, police officials say the officer was undercover at the time on an assignment when the suspects opened fire. Now, authorities say the officer did not shoot back. We still don't know the names yet of the suspects, but we do know that police had to use a helicopter along with squad cars to track them down and make all four arrests. Authorities said the undercover officer was trying to make contact with people inside this vehicle when they opened fire at him. He did manage to escape without any injury, but it's still not exactly clear why the officer was trailing or targeting those suspects in that undercover assignment. Now, one suspect fled the scene for a while and hid out underwater, actually, until for some time until police were able to track him down. For now, police still aren't saying anything about the possible criminal charges they could face. We'll keep you updated as we learn more. In other news, it's a story we've reported several times this year, a big problem in Florida, especially prisoners dying in jail at the hands of the people that were supposed to guard the cells there. Now with a growing number of people demanding answers, more investigations, politicians are starting to ask more funding for it to investigate the Department of Corrections, the DOC. In the last five years alone, inmate deaths because of employees use of force has risen by 29%, almost a whole third up. Now politicians are asking a Senate committee for over $8 million to continue cracking down on the prison guards. Now, one of the biggest issues is that outside watchdog agencies can only investigate suspicious deaths, but the Department of Corrections, the DOC, they're the agency that labels which deaths are suspicious and which ones aren't. These are here are some of the inmates that died at the hands of prison guards, you can see on the screen, but. DOC officials already took some action, firing 50 different prison guards for using illegal force against inmates just in the last year. But from what we're hearing, there still could be more to come. Moving on now, it's the big craze these days. All the kids are doing it. Vaping, puffing on e-cigs, electronic devices used to inhale vaping and vaporizing nicotine. But now Delray Beach lawmakers could make you take your e-cig outdoors. It's already against the law to smoke regular cigarettes inside building. It's a part of the Florida Clean Air Act in Delray uh, Beach. Of course, new proposal this time would extend that Florida Clean Indoor Air Act to include these electronic cigarettes. Delray Commissioner Adam Frankel says residents should not have to be subjected to odors or smells from e-cigs while out shopping or eating in restaurants. And with spring just around the corner, the lawmakers in West Palm Beach are gearing up for baseball. That's right. After a heavy amount of criticism from voters last year, city officials announced they are still planning on moving ahead to build a new stadium in hopes of attracting more major league clubs to spend their spring training here. This time, the stadium could bring the Washington Nationals and the Houston Astros to town for a few months a year. Last month, City officials promised the increased hotel tax rates would not go toward a new baseball stadium. As a result, arts and culture groups in the area, several other groups all got on board and together prompted the higher tax they approved and they went through with it. Now the hotel tax is higher in that area, but now that, that money is approved, the city officials are open to reconsidering their initial stance on the stadiums. And for the first time in Florida, same-sex couples are getting legally married. At the stroke of midnight, more than a dozen gay couples were already in line to get an official license from the county clerk Tuesday morning. Now, this comes after a federal judge struck down a plea by Attorney General Pam Bondi. She initially threatened to charge county clerks with a criminal misdemeanor if they issued <clears throat> a marriage license to a gay couple. Now, the judge has ruled, at least for the time being, that's not going to fly. With his eye on a run at the White House, former Florida Governor Jeb Bush also spoke up on the issue. In a prepared statement, Bush says, we live in a democracy, and regardless of our disagreements, we have to respect the rule of law. Now, not exactly a ringing endorsement of the ruling in favor of gay marriage, but he is calling for people on both sides of the controversial issue to at least treat each other with respect. He says that's the least they can ask. There are still at least 10 outstanding lawsuits still making their way through appeals courts that could still change the legal status for gay couples in Florida. Right now, 36 states recognize gay marriage throughout the country. While they've put it off for some time, a ruling from the Supreme Court could happen sometime this year.